<clears throat> my island. Somebody asked me, where is your island? The one you stand on and declare to be proverbially yours. My island is this. Know yourself. When you don't know yourself, you don't, you are not in command of your whole life. You are a person, hence everything you do is personal. Every decision you make is rooted in something deeply personal to you. Whether you are functioning in a clinical setting where it is only about treating somebody or whatever your profession is or however you serve the people that you love, everything you do comes with some personal slant. And so if you are unsure of who you really are inside, everything you do could in fact be only and all about other people and your relationship with yourself. If you don't love yourself a whole lot or you don't know yourself a whole lot about the things you avoid, if somebody asks you to do something and you don't want to confront and you don't want the uncomfortable and you don't want to stand up for yourself, you don't believe that you do want to or are worth it, you will go ahead and do whatever it is that is needed to get through things. People who, you hear about people, you know, aha moments in the job they've had for decades because finally I realized that I can't do this anymore. And sometimes it's not so much about the, that they don't know. Sometimes it's about they just don't know that there are options. Many things get in the way of you knowing yourself. Many people don't have the language to explain how they feel. Maybe it's not the right adjectives, or maybe they don't have the forum where these conversations can happen. Maybe they've never really believed that these are conversations that should happen. Things get in the way, depending on what your religious or cultural or the climate, the emotional climate of your family and the conversational climate of your family. These things are not talked about. You go, you work, you do your thing. And so maybe you were taught not to question anything. Maybe you were taught uh, much as I was, you know, uh, makeup and perfume, those you, you, you use those and that makes you a flirt. And a flirt is a bad thing, as opposed to something that I could do and enjoy and relish. And so all of these beliefs are in there all the time. It's not only sometimes, it's not only when we're down, it's not only when we feel good, all the time. They are in action at play all the time. So this is big. How well you know yourself and how well you can do look at some of the deep, deep and darker um, corners within you makes... It's earth shattering, to be honest. It's earth shattering. A life without knowing yourself is not a full life. It's not been fully lived. That really just means that you have lived and existed for others. And living and existing for others does not bring peace. You were born with a brain and a mind and a heart and a soul of your own. And if you're not going to do it in this lifetime, when will you? So when I say knowing yourself is important, I cannot speak about it enough. I can't. I cannot. When people, whenever I work with people, it's not so much about me. I never do the work they do and how well they accept the questions I ask them and how brave they, they go to look at what the possible answers are. That's where the change happens. It's not for me. I'm good with questions. I've gotten very, very good at questions. I have, that's, was always an easy thing for me. But the real work happens when people absorb them and answer them truthfully. Know yourself. Know magnificent 